Hey guys, Rob just flying the Hobby King X650F, which has now got the uh, NASA light flight control unit. And it's already acquired the uh, satellites because the red lights stopped flashing. So we'll just uh, arm the board and let's go. I'll just put it in uh, position hold and altitude hold. It's just got a little bit of that toilet bowl effect, but looks like it's settled down now. You can see just how nicely that's completely hands off, how nicely it's hovering and holding its position. Yeah, it's flying much, much better now. No more sync issues with the uh, with the ES ESCs. And this is in uh, self-level mode. Let's see how it goes back into position hold. Yeah, it's flying really well now. Okay, I'm just going to land and put it into manual mode. Okay, it's now in manual mode. Yeah, really, really nice. Yeah, it's handling really well. Plenty of power with the 4S, and I've only got uh, 10 by 4 propellers on it at the moment. I'll just bring it lower to see how the low voltage warning's going. So, so far, so good. Okay, just when I climbed then, I could see the uh, low voltage light flash. So I've got to do a bit more calibration on that via the, uh, the NASA software. But uh, last night, the low voltage alarm was just going off almost straight after takeoff so it wasn't calibrated properly. Alrighty, I'm just going to land and go back to uh, GPS mode. Okay, that's GPS mode again. That's uh, hands off. Okay, so it's just holding position now, doing a really nice job.
Okay, I think that might be one of the low voltage protections that just made it go down then. Yeah, that, that's the low voltage light going off, so I'll just land and we'll shut down the motors. Alrighty, still a little bit of work to do just to uh, get the voltage sensing working properly, but um, that was about, how long was that? Only about five minutes, so it should go a bit longer than that, but anyway, I'll do a bit of work. Thanks for watching.